Everything all right, Amy? Yes, just fine. It's payday today, isn't it? Yes. Your dad collected it last night. Oh, did he? I wasn't aware. Really? He mentioned it was urgent for you. Dad's done this again. Dad, where's my wage? I need to pay for university fees. I just need to borrow it for a few days. Don't be so dramatic. And I told you not to go to university. You're just a woman. It's such a waste of money. Not as wasted as spending money on gambling and alcohol. Hey, shut up. I said I'll repay you. Since mom passed away, dad's become an alcoholic and addicted to gambling. I don't know what to do. I just go to uni hoping my life will be better in the future. Mr. Richard wants you to come home right now. Dad again. I'm so sick of this. It's important, sir. We'll be in trouble if you don't come with us. Fine. I'm coming. Your professor sent us your grades. What the hell did you do? He told us if you don't do well again this semester, you won't graduate. Yeah, I don't really care about the degree anyway. I care. If you still want to inherit the company, you'll need to prove yourself. We are not going to let you ruin the company we've worked so hard for. If you don't graduate this year, you'll be thrown out of this family too. Oh well, my fun time is over then. My parents always want to control me too much. I really want to take over their business though. I guess I have to study hard this semester. What else can I do? This final semester, everyone will work on a group project. I've already randomly assigned the groups. Check your names on the board outside, get together, and choose a topic for your group. Let me know what you decide by next week. Apparently the other student in our group dropped out of this class, so it's just you and me for the project. I hope you take this seriously. I should be the one saying that. I haven't seen you pay attention in any class, honestly. Well, I'm going to from now on. So, how about we meet this weekend to discuss it? Okay, I have no problem with that. I have to go now. See you later. Hey, Mark! My parents want you to come over for dinner this weekend. I'm sorry, Linda. I need to work on my assignment this weekend. I didn't know you cared about that stuff. Well, if I keep being lazy, my parents won't let me have anything to do with the business. They really mean it. I need to work hard this semester. Wow, that's pretty cool. I'm busy today, Linda. I'll see you later. Okay, see you then. Although he acts cold to me, I know we have to get married eventually because that's what our parents want. More importantly, I actually like him too. I hate group assignments. I'm always busy when they want to meet. Everyone in my class is wealthy. No one else has to work a part-time job like me. Especially Mark. I must be so unlucky to be paired with him. I hope he's not lazy and actually helps with the assignment. Amy, don't forget to wash the dishes in the sink. Okay, boss.
So, Mark, you're working with Amy on the project? Yeah, what's she like? I hardly ever talk to her. She's all right, but I was in the same group with her last semester. She never showed up for the meetings. Really? Why's that? She's lazy, maybe? I don't know. Girls are just like that, you know. They're bad at studying. You're so unlucky. You want to improve your grades this semester, but you got paired with some irresponsible girl. Ugh, I'm so tired. After work, I still have to meet Mark for the group project. But I need to do this project anyway. What? Are you serious? Okay, I'll be there very soon. My wife had a car accident, Amy. Is she okay? They said she's okay, but I want to go to the hospital right now. Just help me look after the shop. It will be busy tonight. Oh no, this means I can't meet Mark for the assignment. He might want to do it with other people instead. I'll probably end up doing it alone again. It's such a big project for just one person, though. Hey, Amy, can I have the same thing, please? Yes, of course. This guy comes here every day. I don't know why, but his face irritates me so much. She never showed up for the meetings. If she's not coming, she shouldn't have said she would. What a time waster. I'm here. Three hours have already passed. Well, something came up. I've already decided on the topic for us. Oh, have you? What is it? I don't have all night to do this. I thought I was the worst student in the class, but you're actually even worse. I'm going home now. See you later. Why are you here? You know, I come to your shop every day because of you. Just to see your face. It's time you give me a chance. I never ask you to come. Don't act like I owe you anything. Amy, I have money. You don't have to work at that shitty place anymore if you go out with me. I'm not going out with you. I'm going home right now. What are you doing? Come with me, Amy. Let me go! What a boring day for me. Let me go! Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all good. Thank you so much for helping me. Lucky I was just walking around here. Who was that guy? A customer at my work. He's obsessed with me. So crazy. I had no idea you were working as well. Yeah, just at the seafood restaurant around the corner. I'm so sorry for not showing up at the library on time today. Something came up, so I had to work a longer shift. Are you serious? Yes, I am. Let me walk you home tonight, just in case that guy comes back again. Where is your money? Your boss said you took it. Dad, it's my wage! Why should I tell you about it? And stop taking my wage from my boss! I told him to pay me directly only! How dare you talk to me like that? I'm your father. Yes, and she is your daughter, not your slave. You have no right to take her money. Who the hell are you? I am her friend from uni. Let's go, Mark! I can't believe so many things happened to you tonight. Yeah, that's my life. It's a mess. 
I'm sorry for misunderstanding you earlier. Can you please not tell anyone about my family? Of course not. I didn't plan to tell anyone anyway. Thanks. It's so embarrassing for me. Hey, Amy. You don't need to be strong all the time, you know. I can't believe I'm crying in front of him. After that, Mark and I have become closer. He always makes it convenient for me to do the assignment. <laughs> we started to hang out more often, even when we weren't working on the project. <laughs> He walks me home after work every night to make sure that creepy guy isn't stalking me again. I feel comfortable when Mark is around. I think I like him more than just a friend now. Amy is such a good girl. She's diligent, down-to-earth, and a strong woman. She makes me a better person. I want to tell her how I feel after the presentation. Oh my goodness! Finally! We are done with the assignment! Yeah, and we still have two more days to practice our presentation. I'm glad we did it early! She must be exhausted. I am too. I should just go to the bathroom to wash my face. Amy, where is our assignment? It was here just now. Did you see it? Oh no! Really? Sorry, I fell asleep. Someone must have taken it. I'm sorry, Mark. It's okay, I'll go find it. In the meantime, can you try to make a new one? Just in case I can't find it. Okay, no problem. I wonder who took it. I can't imagine anyone would hate me or him this much. I look for it everywhere, but I'm so sorry, Amy. I couldn't find it. It's okay. It's not your fault. Let's make it again together. It's still in our brains anyways, right? You're right. Let's do it. If I find out who stole our papers, I'll never forgive them. The next group to present is Amy and Mark. If you're ready, please come to the front. We finally graduated. Yes! I'm so happy we made it at the last minute! Amy, I have something to tell you. Yeah? What is it? I've been thinking about this for a while. 
I like you, Amy, more than just a friend. Really? Yes, is that okay with you? Of course, Mark. I feel the same. His parents won't be happy with this. I'm going to tell them. How can I help you, ma'am? How much do you want? What do you mean? I don't understand. I'm Mark's mother. I know you're dating him. You and he are too different if you know what I mean. I don't want to waste my time. I'm here to offer you money. Tell me how much you want to stay away from my son. Is $500,000 enough? I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't want any money from you. And I'm not planning to break up with him anytime soon. We love each other. I can't believe you're doing this behind my back, Mom. What are you doing here, you idiot? If you insist on dating her, I'll cut you out of the family. Do it then. Is the family's business not important to you anymore? I'll build my own business if I have to. Fine, I'll see how long your relationship will last. Is it okay you said that to your mother? I don't care. I appreciate that you rejected my mother's offer. I know you truly love me. I'm never going to give you up, Amy. I don't have any money on me. Please don't shoot me. Shut up and come with us. <laughs> Please forgive me for whatever I did. Please don't kill me. Only if your daughter does me a favor. Linda, what are you doing here? My parents loaned your dad $20,000. I don't think you guys will ever be able to pay that back. I only borrowed $5,000. How come it's $20,000? Because that's the interest, you stupid old man. Well, lucky your daughter can help you with that. Amy, please help me. I promise I'll never do this again. I'll quit gambling. What can I do, Linda? Break up with Mark, and your dad will be a freeman. Or pay $20,000 today, or else you know what's going to happen to your dad. Okay. Please, let my dad go. What a good daughter you are. Don't even think of telling Mark about this, otherwise you know what will happen. I'm sorry. I promise I'll quit gambling from today. What happened, Amy? I'm sorry, Mark. As I said, we are too different. No, tell me the truth. What happened? Nothing happened. That's the truth. We are breaking up right now. Please don't come to see me again! I'm sorry, Mark. I don't know what else I can do. I don't want my dad to be in danger. Does she really want to break up with me? What did I do wrong?
Even though I'm still hurt from the breakup, a boat trip to an island is something I need right now to feel better about myself. Do you mind if I join? What are you doing here? I'm sorry, I want to go by myself. I'm sorry, but you won't go by yourself. I have to do this because you always avoid seeing me. I don't understand. You have a beautiful girl like me, and you still want to date that disgusting poor girl. Shut up. You have no right to say that about her. Why are you so angry? She broke up with you, didn't she? Did you force her to break up with me? Yes. So, you will have to marry me anyway. The wedding has been set up at the island already. What do you mean? Well, because our parents know that you won't marry me easily, so we planned this. Right now, we are on the boat together, while everyone is waiting at the island preparing our wedding, including the media reporters. We will get married as soon as we arrive on the island. What can you do? I'm your destiny, Mark. No way. I'd rather die than marry a girl like you. I knew it. Someone must be behind our breakup. She loves me. <laughs> Amy, I knew the truth. I love you and I still keep my promise. I'm never gonna give you up. After Mark jumped off the boat, Linda felt so embarrassed to be left at the altar, so she kept herself at home all the time to avoid gossip. My dad had quit gambling and drinking less alcohol after he was kidnapped and almost got killed. Mark's parents realized how important we were to each other, so they stopped trying to separate us again. They slowly accepted me as their daughter-in-law. Thank you so much, Mark, for always being here for me and for always keeping your promise. It's my happiness anyway, Amy. You know I love you and I'll love you forever. I love you too, Mark. And I'll love you forever too. <laughs> <laughs>